Hello people of the internet, this is Lee and today I'm going to be discussing a new title from Image, it's issue number one of Low, written by Rick Remender with art by Greg uh, Katashini. Uh, this is a science fiction book. It takes place in the future. Uh, the concept is that the sun has gone supernova, that we have not been able to find a planet that is inhabitable to move off to, so um, humankind is actually living in some kind of habitat at the base of the ocean, the ocean floor. And this is the story of a family who is living there. The father is uh, referred to as a helmsman, so it appears that he's in some kind of position of power, a captain, a leader, something like that. The wife um, doesn't really have her station defined, and, uh, but she does seem to be a strong opinionary character. Her interactions with her husband, she definitely holds her own, but she isn't disrespectful to him, so they're very much a married couple. Uh, who likes and respects each other, and that's a nice thing. I like seeing that in my media. It gets a little tiresome to see the cliché of husbands, wives who hate each other, and everything's just, you know, uh, some level of exasperation regarding that. They also have three children. They have a boy and two girls. The story is um, setting up. He was supposed to train them, uh, the two girls. He's tried to train the boy, obviously he hasn't taken to it, on how to take over for him as a Helms person. And uh, that's not explored too deeply because it's issue one, and issue one truly is setting up the story. There are some things of note within that as well. Um, and the fact that there, it is science fiction, it is taking place in a future society, and um, as such, not everything is clearly defined. We, uh, they refer to history, they refer to um, battles, they refer to uh, species, um, all with names I don't know. Even the names of the characters are different than they would be in current times. And they don't go, they don't delve deep into that, they don't explain it, they just say it and move on. Which is perfectly fine because an issue one should be setting up the story, not defining every aspect of it. You spend too much time on definitions, you lose track of the story, people lose interest, they set the book down and they don't come back for number two. So I think that Remender did a good job in that context of just um, laying the groundwork, setting up the story, giving us a reason to read issue two. So overall the book was good. Um, I haven't read anything from Remender before. I took a look. Um, he Mostly he's done stuff for Marvel, a lot of X-Men. Um, I've read some X-Men, but I'm not an enthusiastic X-Men fan, so that explains why I haven't read anything by him. But he definitely has fans uh, who are interested in his stuff. He's also written for Dark Horse and Image, so he's got some um, creator-owned books under his belt as well. And that shows uh, this does not seem like a first attempt at a, a self-created story. It seems like he took some time, he thought it through, and this is the mythology he came up with. And I, I look forward to knowing more about it. I, I want to explore his world, um, and especially want to explore the female protagonist, the wife. She is, um, she seems like a strong character, uh, and I think that as the story progresses, we're going to find she is actually a stronger character than her, um, her strong leader husband man. And I look forward to seeing that growth and development. I look forward to him leaning on her, uh, and just the dynamics there that will go into that. Uh, she's also an optimistic character. A lot of people, especially in a situation like this, our our sun has gone supernova, our Earth can't handle this for very much longer, our um, species may not have much longer to live. It's a very bleak situation, so you don't expect um, an optimistic viewpoint, but she is really the driving force that keeps everybody else going as well. So it's not just that her strength is helping her, but that it's helping people around her. So I think a uh, very well created woman, very well created mother figure, uh, who's also just smart and capable. And, um, you know, people give 
comics a lot of crap about that. They say there are not a lot of strong female characters. I tend to disagree. Uh, and this is further proof that, that I'm just right about things all the time. Always right. Um, in fact, Jazz Hand's right. But moving on. So I'm going to talk about the art a little bit as well. I don't think I've seen anything that has been illustrated by Greg Tashini before. Um, if I have, I promptly forgot about it. He didn't stick with me for any length of time. Uh, overall, I found the artwork to be inconsistent. There were some panels that were very well drawn where I knew what I was looking at. There were others where uh, they just, they felt really quickly put together, like not a lot of thought and effort went into them. And maybe that's just his style and I'm not reading it very well. I noticed the sketchy lines and I know that that's a stylistic decision, not an unfinished work. But overall, the art in the book did just feel unfinished to me. Um, they're just lacking in details, not very interesting. It's not enough to keep me from reading the book. It wasn't expressly distracting, although there were a couple of things that I found confusing because of the artwork, so I'm hoping that is more clearly defined for me later. And that goes into the fact that they were moving the story forward, um, pacing it out, but not stopping to define every little thing. Had Rick Remender stopped and defined things, I wouldn't have needed the art to show me. Um, since the art didn't, I'm going to have to hope that one of the two creators shows me a little better next time. So, um, yeah, overall, the writing was great. Uh, well, it was, it was good, bordering on great, but not, oh my goodness, this is amazing, I love this, I need to tell everybody and their uncle to read it. Just, it was a really good first book. It is, it hit all the points I need a first book to hit in order for me to read the second one. It intrigued me. So, um, Rowdy, I'm working. That's the dog. You met the cat previously? Now there's a dog. Um, but moving on. Uh, yeah, so it hit all the notes that I need in issue one to hit in order for me to pick up issue two. So I'll be reading that in a month and I'll let you know what I think at that time as well. Um, the art is nothing to phone home about, but it's also not actively offensive. So. This is another uh, image number one. If you're looking to get into comics and you don't know where to pick one up, Image always has number ones coming out and they're usually worth a read even if they aren't necessarily something that you think is to your taste. They might be something that you find out later you enjoy. So if you're interested in it, um, just yeah, pick up an issue of Low from Rick Remender. This is issue number one. It was available from your comic shop last Wednesday. So if you pop in tomorrow for your weekly books and you see it on the shelf, just go ahead and grab it, see what you think. Uh, if there is anything else you would like me to review, please let me know in the comments. You can also like and subscribe to my channel. I always appreciate that. Um, but for now, that's it. Thanks. Bye.